Daddario's career has taken her from soap operas to blockbusters to dramatic performances that have made her one of Hollywood's brightest young stars and a glamorous presence both on the red carpet and to her 23 million Instagram followers. Her latest role comes in a series based on the supernatural novels of the legendary Anne Rice. Alexandra and I got together in her native New York for a Sunday sit down. Healing people. Nothing feels better than that. Alexandra Daddario has crossed over into the world of the paranormal. Getting angry won't help my patients. In the AMC series Mayfair Witches, she plays Dr. Rowan Fielding, a neurosurgeon who learns she is the latest in a dynasty of powerful witches. Do all the Mayfairs have gifts? We shot in some of the old houses in New Orleans, yeah. which, are, which are beautiful. It captured perfectly the, the feeling of New Orleans, the creepiness of the, the books. Did you know anything about these stories when you were handed the script? I didn't actually. I hadn't read Anne Rice growing up. She had this incredible imagination and she would delve into sort of the darker aspects of human nature in this very um, entertaining way. Do you like doing those kind of supernatural horror, I guess you could call it some combination of those two. I do. I've never expected to do the kinds of things that I've been able to do and work with visual effects and these fantasy stories that really makes it fun and you can go crazy with the characters and really, really push it. The 36-year-old Daddario has been pushing boundaries since she was a kid growing up in New York City. The daughter of two prominent attorneys, Alex, as she is known, opted out of the family business somewhere around the age of 10 after joining a friend at drama class. We had to think of something sad and cry. I, you know, had no idea how to do that. And my friend was crying about she had tried to teach her hamster to swim. Oh, no. Yeah. It didn't end well. Oh, no. And she <laughs> broke down. I shouldn't laugh. But... I know, no, it's not funny. And I will never forget, I was like, oh my goodness. You can take a moment from your real life, something that is, even at a young age, I realized that there was something therapeutic, I think, in that. So I got really into it. Then there were like agents that came to the acting class and they wanted me to do commercials. And so began your hand modeling career for That's Barbie. Right. That's right. Totally hot, totally I was hired as the hand model because they thought I was too old. I was maybe big for 11 or something. Already aging out of parts at 12. I know. I mean, come on. But I was trying so hard to get my face in the shot. <laughs> when you're a kid, everyone's so nice to you. As an adult, you know, people are like, stop doing that. As a kid, they're like, are you comfortable in that position? Like, they knew what I was doing. It wouldn't be long before she got that close up. When I was 16, I booked a soap opera. All my children. Money does not buy happiness. No, it just buys you all the beer you can drink, which I guess to you is happiness. And they did sign me to a contract that I ended up getting let go of after a year. Certainly between getting fired from the soap at 17 and booking my first big movie at 22, there were many <laughs> tears and, you know, I'm quitting, I can't do this. But Daddario hung in then broke out, playing Annabeth Chase in two film adaptations of the popular Percy Jackson books. Stand up and fight, hero. It completely changed my life. It was a big movie, but it wasn't like I was an overnight star. But for me, it made an incredible difference in my career and the opportunities I had. The success of the Percy Jackson films led to roles for Daddario in big budget movies like Texas Chainsaw 3D. They're after me. The 2015 thriller San Andreas, where she starred with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Get down! Get down! And two years later, opposite Zac Efron in the kitschy film reboot of Baywatch. You are trying way too hard. Well, trying's the best part. Baywatch didn't work, and that's not a secret, but it was still huge for me because I was booking jobs off of just booking that job before right. it even came out. But Daddario has proven she can do much more than summer blockbusters, earning acclaim for her performances in True Detective, American Horror Story Hotel, 
and season one of the recent HBO sensation, The White Lotus, a dream job she told her agents she had to have. I really want to get a job. No, why would you do that? They were like, we're doing everything possible to get you this job. <laughs> it was a very, very good job. And then it ended up being sort of everything I had been looking for. I think I made a mistake. What's a mistake? The mistake is getting married. Daddario earned an Emmy nomination playing a newlywed on a nightmare honeymoon in Hawaii. What did you like about your character? I was able to draw a little bit from myself and some aspects of getting carried away with things. And also, I think there was a fantasy. She had a, an idea of how things were going to be. I can do that sometimes. In fact, Daddario wrote a happy ending to her own real-life love story. You also had some great news over the pandemic and that you met and married your husband. Congratulations. Yes. yes. What's that been like for you? It's been great. He's a, a wonderful man, but I've always wanted to be a mom and be married. And you guys bumped into each other right on the streets, right out here somewhere. <laughs> That's right. Or some <laughs> version of that. I mean, I, I told Vogue that, you know, and you called me out. You said, that sounds like a Nora Ephron movie. Mm -hmm. I did add a little romantic twist to our meeting, but we did actually have our first date right next door. And then on our second date, I brought my dog, and the dog wandered into the kitchen, and they, the people working in the kitchen just sort of were like, oh, hey, here's your dog. So it really is a Nora Ephron movie, the dog wandering into the kitchen. Well, that did happen, yes. <laughs> okay, we'll take that. That part did we'll happen. take that part of it. I did call her out on the story, but she came clean. Mayfair Witches premieres tonight on AMC and streams on AMC+. Our big thanks to Tribeca Grill in New York for hosting our conversation. 